We got a beautiful building that we're about to tour. Uh, this is a main building with a lean-to. Welcome back, Pack. This is Advil from Wolf Seal Buildings. And we got a nice tour that we're about to see. Keats building that he went with us and we made it happen for him. Keith, you're here from uh, North Texas? Yes, thanks for coming on. <laughs> oh, absolutely. No, thank you for coming on. I know that, and really what I did was like, hey, uh, Keith, do you want to just walk around and talk about your building and why you, why you have this building and how you're enjoying it? And he's like, sure, let me give it a try. So uh, we want it to be very normal, just very casual, like just normal. So uh, I'm not an actor but I'm just trying to show you guys and really get you guys an idea of how you can use your metal building. So let's get this one started. Don't forget to subscribe. And Keith, let's talk about your building. So uh, I know you have a, this is 26 wide, uh, 35 long is what I have. I, am I correct? That's correct. Yes. That's correct. And then we did have a 13 foot to your eaves. Um, so it's, it's pretty tall. Um, and that's really, I'm assuming was to accommodate, I remember to accommodate your trailer, right? That's right. Uh, this past year, I got a new toy, uh, a new boat, a bass boat. And my <laughs> wife got a trailer, a horse trailer with living quarters. And we just wanted to, be able to store it under a lean-to so it protect it from the weather. So since I was going to get a, a garage for my new boat, I said, well, we'll get something for you too, dear. So, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's my wife's living quarters trailer and it fits like a glove in there. There's plenty of room and it, it seems super sturdy as well, the lean-to. So, sometimes you go to these, you see people's lean-tos and you, yeah. you, 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 you see it and it's like wobbling. This thing's built strong, uh, which, you know, I, I wanted a good good quality product and you guys delivered there for sure. Awesome, yeah, you did get the uh, all the upgraded features on this. So um, you have the 26 gauge panels. Um, so the standard is typically 29 gauge. Um, you did get the 26 gauge panels um, and then he got the 12 gauge uh, tubing, which is the heavier tubing uh, for this product. And that also comes with the 20 year warranty. So uh, super reinforced as well as uh, uh, the higher quality. Now you did get the lean to We did do the openings on it, right? Right. Yeah. Aesthetically, I thought it looked better than just having the poles. Mm -hmm. So it sort of finishes it, and really, I mean, I really, it really finishes it nicely and makes it look like a, you know, like a, a barn. A barn. Yeah. Yeah. So normally the 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 studs are every five feet. So if we if you didn't do like a nice finish on this sidewall it would have had the post and that's really why you wanted this. Plus you got the classic uh, Texas cuts that we call. So that 45 degree cuts around the openings, make it a like the, it's, it's, we call it the Texas cut so it's classic, super, super nice and clean. And then that way you also don't have the rail to be able to walk through it right, exactly. and it's clean. Yeah, it, 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 it turned out really nice. I, I saw an example like this um, with the finished size, and I said, yeah, we want that. And nice. For the additional cost, I just think it finishes the building so much better. Then we did get the concrete with us. When did we start this project? This was in, so, I think it was uh, like November. We had you know, rain off and on, and then we had a cold spell. Um, but I preferred going with, and I, I got another bid from another yeah. concrete guy that could he said oh, i can do whatever they want but i preferred going with you guys because you, know, you work directly with the concrete guy um, the concrete company to make sure you get it the way you want it designed how you designed it and you know i just i'd rather just go one-stop shopping than than have to have farm out everything the only thing i really had, had to farm out was the electric yeah well, I, and I, our electrician, he, I've worked with him for over 20 years. He does a great job. And the stone and, and yeah. drive works. Uh, he he compacted a, it very he well. A, I used a guy, a local guy that uh, did all the, the stone and the base work and then put the river rock on top of it. So it worked. It turned out really nice. And he came in afterwards, after we had installed the building and the, and the slab, he came in and, and um, you know, installed his, his rock and really compacted it very, very well. Um, so. It's, it turned out super nice, Keith. I'm really, really impressed. And this is where he, 
uh, your electrician ran and he put the uh, the box outside. Right. Um, yeah, I preferred it outside. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just you know it was easier. Didn't have to you know drill a hole through the concrete or build the concrete around the piping. This this electric actually comes from my horse barn because mm -hmm. I had electric oh, to the barn. Okay. So they had a trench over from the barn uh, and put a little outlet little box on the side of the barn and connected it so now you know, electric in both places. Yeah. And then also put a 30 amp on the post on the side there so my wife could uh, have electric to her trailer. Because um, uh, my granddaughter likes to have, uh, have sleepovers with me and I and they, they sometimes sleep over in the horse trailer. <laughs> well that's awesome. And I'm that we also have lighting here. Uh, on the side that um, he installed, and it, and it looks it looks phenomenal. Yeah. And I hope this gives you guys an idea how you know you can install some electrical onto your metal building. But overall, it turned out really nice, and you're gonna see in the inside. Now, I did want to talk about the concrete a little bit. We had this little approach because it was a little off level, and this approach made it a lot more smoother to be able to access and have your boat uh, drive in. We did have the uh, notch work that we did here so basically any water is it's really not going to come in um it's raised about an inch and a half i um, mean he's been driving his car and it's been uh, pretty solid it, it's super easy to just to back in the boat eventually i'll be putting some on the other side of the garage but i just haven't gotten all my shelves up yet or Anything. It's a sort of work in process, but I'm not in real a big hurry. Not in a hurry. <laughs> Your boat's protected. Your boat this was is the <laughs> most important thing. She's my baby and she needs to be protected. <laughs> uh, one thing that we did do on this uh, building is also um, the uh, header seal. So when you buy overhead doors, typically, I mean roll-up doors, typically they don't have, they don't come with header seal. So you got a gap, and then then you have some critters and birds coming up up to inside the building and we got you got that upgrade on on your on yeah, your door. I think that makes I mean, when they first installed the door it didn't have that on it um, because yeah you had to order them. You had to order and them. They came out like the week later and it made a big difference. I mean there's just there's just yeah. a gap there. It's just the way they're designed. That's I mean, just the way they're designed. But this this keeps it and, it and it keeps the wind from coming in too. When yeah. I've been in here sitting in here when it's windy and Hardly, I mean, you can hear the wind in yeah. a steel building naturally, and it sort of echoes, to be honest with yeah. you, in a steel building, but that's just part, part of, of it. being in a steel building. But uh, yeah, it will really, really help out with the header. And for the minor cost that is to upgrade for that, it's, it's well worth it. I, uh, I, I was actually going to ask you, now that we're about to access and talk about this spray foam, um, did, have you seen some noise dampening, like that it helps? Absolutely. Uh, okay. Um, because they, you know, you installed the building first, and then a week or so later, um, by the time we got on the schedule for the uh, spray foam, I noticed a big difference. It definitely dampens the Oh, really? Sound okay. Sure. Because, I mean, I had come in, I hadn't had my boat in here yet, but I was in here just, you know, just doing a few things and talking to, to uh, my wife and, and family and stuff. And you could definitely see, Feel the difference. The difference. Uh, once the spray foam is put in, so you know, from a temperature perspective and from a noise perspective, I think it. Uh, and I, I decided to go with spray foam versus the, the fiberglass or, or the, um, the bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Yeah. Paper. I mean, it just you know, gives you added protection. Not only that, but all your all your your little um, gaps are sealed. Um, so normally, because of the ridges of the panel or the corrugated panels you have some little gaps and that's where critters come in and this just fully like clears right. and you have 26 gauge panels and then you topped it off with a one inch spray foam like this is just solid and even for your roof we're in texas so hail is is a menace mm -hmm. sure <laughs> and with the spray foam in that panel it's just it's yeah, super I solid it's one mean, of the reasons it, i really like it i mean i pressed on the walls before the spray foam and, and they were solid because of the upgraded steel panels but then once the spray foam and you, you, you can't you can't hardly move it it's yeah. solid like it's solid yeah. I'm very happy with the spray foam because I actually went to another building that had the, the white bubble wrap sheet yeah. stuff, and it's nothing like this. Nope. I mean, it, it, it does give you some insulation, 
It's it an gives, art factor, but not like this. Not like this. And then also it does help like in the sense of uh, more like a vapor barrier mm. um, or a moisture barrier. You did get your own door. This was from... Uh, this was a Home Depot door. Home Depot, uh, yeah. Yeah, it works great. Uh, I need to finish it off yet, but it's, uh, it has a, a keypad lock on it, so I don't have to... If I ever do want to lock my building, I yeah. can. Um, and super easy, you know, just... Uh, Put it in the deal, and I bought it myself. Brought, had it here, and your guys just you know, framed it up and installed it. And then we, before we spray foam, you did run your electrical, and then we came, right. and this is how it turned out. So yeah, yeah. super so, nice. Uh, electric put in before the spray foam, so that they could. And that, that was part of the timing as well. I had to arrange for my electrician to come in and do his his bit, and put some nice lights in here, and plenty of outlets, and uh, yeah, so it works out real well. And then you've got a in and it. Sprayed it. Which, uh, one of the beauties of, um, or whenever you're picking spray foam, one of the challenges that I've heard from, it's like, I don't like how it looks. I don't like how it looks. But if it's done right, it looks phenomenal. Like, yeah, this I, looks I mean, not, I, I think it looks perfectly fine. This yeah. is a barn, this is a garage. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's not a barn dominion, yeah. I'm not going to live in here. <laughs> Who knows, I might decide to sleep on my boat one day. You never know, but um, I, I, they told me you could paint it if I wanted to, but I mean, I, I, mean, I think it looks fine. I, I think it looks great. <laughs> And then I, I think the craftsmanship looks phenomenal. Like I really, really like it, especially I've seen the, the, like a lot of spray foam and it was just super, super nice and smooth and clean. Yeah, I thought the, the spray foam guy did a fine job. It looks good to me. The, um, those are your cabinets you're trying to install in the future? Yeah, I'm gonna, I bought some shelving units and a, like a workstation. I've, I've got to unbox them and, and put them together, but yeah, that'll be, I'm gonna do a workstation in the corner and head to the side. I'm probably gonna put on this wall um, some pegboards so I can hang fishing baits, baits, uh, baits. on this wall. Um, once, I, once I get that done, I'll send you some pictures so you can see what I did. But. There, there, there's lots of pictures and you just have to Google things and you can get all kind of ideas out there. You know? <laughs> and uh, on the other side, of the, other side of the garage, uh, you know, so this is my boat side of the garage. It's easy to get in. I, I actually put a, a drain. I had them uh, put a drain in the concrete. And it drains and backwards. It drains to the back of the garage, outside the back wall here. In case my boat has any water in it when I come home, if I've been fishing in the rain or whatever, you yeah. know, where I forget to where I forget to take the water out of my live wells, I mean, it'll just I can just let it drain right through there. But and then this side of the garage, you know, probably yeah, I haven't decided what I'm gonna put all on this side. We got a lot of stuff. My wife wants me to get a bunch of my stuff. I'll use the word stuff out of my barn <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, and put it over here and and. Uh, Probably park my wife's truck in here, maybe, because she only uses her truck to create. Oh, that. whenever she cares. So the dually truck. Trailer. Okay. She has a small trailer and she has a big trailer. So I may eventually it's it's outside and may eventually park her truck in here. But you know, riding on mower and push mower and other garden equipment and stuff, I'll probably put on this side of the garage. But just haven't gotten around to that yet. Just getting ready to uh, start using it more. Start using it more for sure. I long. I think we finished this project about a month and a half ago, uh, about a month ago, so yeah, you've already they, got they, your boat. They just finished the stonework. I mean, oh. it's hard to get on people's schedules, you know, everybody's yeah. so busy in North Texas. <laughs> and, and my guy's, he's a friend of mine too, and he, he squeezed me in. So they just finished that a couple weeks ago, and then it, we got that cold spell, and it rained, and you, know, you wanted to do it on a nice sunny day, which I don't blame you. <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful today is really, it's really it's early in the morning. The lights. I was I was a little concerned uh -huh. that it would be bright enough in bright here. Bright enough, yeah. But with these three sets of lights that my electrician, because I told him, he's, you sure we don't even want every post this done. This would bleed me. He said this would be plenty of light. Uh -huh. you know, I, I've sat in here in the dark with these lights on. It is so bright in here. I think it because it reflects off the spray foam because it's a light color and it, it's super bright. Right? Um, I've seen different types of lights. I've seen more of a like circular right. and kind of stagger them. Right. But these, I, I really like this. As soon as I came in, it was um, it's yeah. super bright. Super like, it's bright, good. it's clean, you know, it, it worked out well. So it's a, it's a good good idea if anybody wants to. 
mean, I've seen the rounder ones too, and they're nice. I, I talked to him about that. He said, well, if you want more light, uh, let me put all of these in for you. The long, you know, the tubular ones, you'll get better light. Okay. Nice. He's the professional, so <laughs> I listen to my electrician. They have a lot of experience too, so awesome. Keith, do you have any final words or any uh, tips or advice uh, for someone that's buying a bent metal building? Well, my advice is uh, upgrade where you can and, and get the highest quality product you can. I mean, there are a lot of buildings out there that are a little flimsy in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, if you go with a good quality company like your company, uh, good quality product. Um, I actually toured the, the plant that that built the product, mm -hmm. builds the product for you, and I was impressed at their manufacturing process. And uh, so, yeah, I'm very pleased and just want to thank your whole team for, uh, for delivering a quality product. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Well, I hope you learned from this video. If you have any comments, any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, Keith might even respond to you if uh, you have any questions about his boat or his process and his experience and um, especially if you're in the North Texas area uh, he might even share some of his contacts who did the electrical or some of his uh, work so we're here to help we're here to just make it a great experience to own a metal building so guys don't forget to subscribe we'll see you guys in the next video